Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 182. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, we're on to the last. We're on to the second half of the end. Uh, we've got Class A, Class S, Class R3, R2 and then R1. And Forza Motorsport 3 will be 100% completed. So, let's crack on with the A-Class World Championship. We've got an extra race in this now. We're starting with Sebring, Circuit de Catalunya, then Sedona Raceway, Silverstone, Suzuka, New York, and then a little bit of Le Mans. Uh, I'm going to be driving the Mercedes SL65. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Let's get going. We got the Merc. And we're off. Lots of wheel spin. And then the car picks up speed. This car is a beauty, by the way. What an engine noise. What a beautiful sound. What an absolute stinker there. Oi! What are you doing? Get away from me, prick. Can you see the messages? What messages? Live chat only shows... Stuff ain't sending. I'm not too sure though. Mm. 
YouTube um, doesn't send as many messages through as say Twitch will um, because they analyze stuff and if, if they deem it as they don't want it they just won't send the message um, which means most of the time if your message isn't sending it's probably something really really bad and it probably shouldn't be sent <laughs> so Because YouTube has two levels levels of filtering. They have top chat, which is um, the best of the best messages. No swearing, no nothing. They have live chat, which is all messages. And then if your message doesn't get to live chat, it's pretty bad and it's probably been blocked by YouTube. Let me catch a criminal. Oh, oh. There's nothing we can do. Like cops and robbers. Cops and robbers. Oh, I'm just staring like a bitch. Nothing we can do. Like cops and robbers. Cops and robbers. Blame Simon. Because he said. I mean, you can give it another try. It might be the character limit then. Because there is a character limit as well. So you'll probably just have to split your message into like multiple messages. Like cops and robbers. Cops and robbers. If we catch a criminal. When we catch a criminal. Bum. If we catch a criminal, when we catch a criminal, oh, oh. Indy car. Ah. What about the IndyCar app? Is there an IndyCar app? I might have to tune into that one then instead. Can you watch them live? Because if you can watch them live, then that's a lot more enticing to watch than not live. That makes sense. Fair enough. I have to tune into it. Corvette that's on my ass. My alarm's going off! <laughs> this is actually the sound that I use for my alarm, so that's the way it throws me off sometimes. Reaching out for something to hold. Reaching out for something to hold. Whoa! Reaching out for something to hold. I 
We're getting in distance on the Corvette now. Another hour or so to tune in. Fair enough. I probably won't be able to watch it while I'm streaming, so... But I'll definitely keep note of it, because then I can tune into it next time. What I'm looking for Can't find What I'm searching for Yeah, I think the next stream that isn't Forza Motorsport, I'm probably going to do Wipeout. Because I'm really craving playing that game at the moment. I'm going to set up my PS5 tonight. Fuck it, why not? Set up tonight and mess around with that while I'm editing. What I'm looking for I'm searching for and I still believe that in you know what I'm looking for Reaching now for something to Not bad. That's the first race of seven done. Very, very nice. <laughs> Alright, here we go. This is good. Skrillex's new album is actually pretty decent. Hi! You tit. <laughs> Fucking crashed into my car. Barely even started. a rally mini with a top speed of 50 miles an hour. To be fair, I wouldn't even trust myself going more than 50, let's be real. <laughs> Joe, you know, the, the most exhilarating experience is getting one of those like Mini Coopers just a raw car and trying to rally it down whatever but I'm actually pretty I'm much better at rallying than I am at sim racing I'm a million times better at sim rallying than sim racing just because of the fact that I can't I, I don't even get it like I, I think it's because I just prefer being on the edge with the car And I have a lot more understanding. And I'm a lot more brave when it comes to that than 
on a track, you're fighting for what is 0.1 of a second, and I can never get that 0.1 of a second. Whereas when it comes to a rally car, 0.1 of a second can be gained in a corner just by going an extra 10 miles an hour and hoping for the best. And then saving it for the next corner or whatnot. Like, it's a very different formula, and I I get along better with the rallying formula than road racing. Or circuit racing. But to be fair, I much prefer rallying on gravel in Dirt Rally and Richard Burns and whatnot than uh, rallying on tarmac. Say. So. Proshman just crashed. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. It does not surprise me. Like, I hate to break it to any Grosjean fans, but Grosjean's not a great driver. He was in the pinnacle, basically the most technologically advanced most, well, they say they're the most technologically advanced, but he failed. He was terrible. And let's be honest, a lot of the drivers that are in Formula 1 are in there because they're rich and famous, not because they're good drivers, and yet he still failed that. Like, IndyCar, on the other hand, the people that get into IndyCar are typically better drivers. So, you know, IndyCar is less a rich man's sport and more actual drivers. That crash with Grosjean at Bahrain, though, that was terrifying, I'll be honest. The fact that we didn't see him get out of that car, that was pretty shocking. Obviously, it was all fine, but it still is. It's not, not a nice feeling. Sergio Perez in Formula 1 makes it key at the moment, just because, I mean, he's not doing well. I'm shattered. I'm gonna get this A-class championship done and then I think I'm gonna win the stream. Because then I'll edit and I'll get an early night. Because I've got quite a bit of editing to do. I almost just kicked the plug out of <laughs> my PC's in. That would be good. Because that would mean the internet goes off. goes off, both the monitors go off, and the Xbox goes off. Oops. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice to see Grosjean win, but obviously he's still not a great driver. Um, I mean, again, he might just prefer the format of 
IndyCar, similar to how I prefer the format of Rally. But, we'll see. I'm so excited for WRC 23. Like, that's the one game I'm... I, I was actually looking forward to Payday 3, but uh, I found out that the game is online only. It's not the same as the last game. So uh, I won't be buying Payday 3 anymore. Um, unless it's like severely on sale, at which point then I won't have wasted money. But I'm not paying full price to buy the game day one because I just don't... I don't like video games that are online only. Um, if I'm buying them on PC because I use my Steam Deck as well. So if I can't play it on the Steam Deck and I can't play it anywhere, I'm less inclined to buy it. It's the same with if I'm getting something on the PS5. Um, it's less an issue on the PS5, but it still would be somewhat an issue. Um, Do I think Perez is leaving Red Bull at the end of the year? Perez has to come second in pretty much every single race the rest of the season for him to stay. I don't see him. So that's another way of me saying, yeah, he's not staying next year. Like, realistically speaking, I can't see them sticking with him. Um... It depends what this upgrade that Red Bull's bring in, brings in. Because if the upgrade brings in actual performance for Perez, then maybe. But chances are slim. Shady. Slim Shady. Right. Let's go. Cool. I mean, Lando would have been closer, I think, but... I'm surprised how slow that Red Bull was, to be honest, for the Silverstone weekend. Because compared to before, they've been pretty slow. Thank you. 
banisters. Say drive. Ben and Jerry's, what a lie. See, that's the problem. A lot of people now that watch F1, their first race was in the last five years. Because a lot of the true F1 fans that have been fans since before that, me included, we've stopped watching it because it's bullshit. It changed ownership to an American company and then it became almost entertainment. I know technically motorsport is entertainment for motorsport fans, but it became like, you know how Drive to Survive became a thing? And it was like, all this drama and all that stuff. They basically just did that, but to actual F1 as well. Like Drive to Survive should be just its own thing. But the entire Formula 1 is just all about drama and everything. What happened to the old F1 commentator? The old one? Pretty sure he died. Pretty sure he died a couple of years ago. Schumacher. <laughs> oh, he's such a brilliant. I I loved him as a commentator. 
Martin Brundle obviously does the grid walks now, so he doesn't really commentate anymore. Oh, you're on about Crofty. No, he's still a commentator. Still a commentator. As far as I'm aware. He's not even that old. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean the old F1 commentator? He's not that old. He's like in his 40s. Uh, is it Anthony Davidson that does it with him? He's older than Crofty. No, because they don't use Sky anymore. That's why. I think it's Alex, Alex Jakes. Um, he's the commentator now for Channel 4. Formula 1. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, they use Channel 4's commentary now on the official F1 YouTube channel. Just because Sky Sports sort of has a bitter relationship with Formula 1 at the moment. A lot of the commentators in Sky Sports are extremely biased, which, to be fair, I hold the same bias as the, those commentators, but as commentators, they shouldn't be having a bias that extreme. Um, so I believe that's why. But yeah, I'm, I'm convinced it's um, the Channel 4 commentary that they use now. In terms of commentator, I think Alex Jakes is better than Crofty. Um, just because of the fact that he's got... Crofty just seems to ramble on a little bit. Um, I think Crofty's a good commentator, don't get me wrong. But I, I prefer Jakes. It, his voice is just better as well. Not bad. Race done. Do I think Lewis will ever win another championship? Um, to be honest, no. I'd love to see him win because then he could officially say he's the best Formula 1 driver, but I, d I don't see it happening. Um, I think his era's up. I think it's Max's era now. But to, to be honest, like... I think with this... Um, there's a lot of news surrounding Felipe Massa that he's trying to get um, Crashgate race cancelled. So you know the Crashgate scandal that happened in, I believe it was 2008, that manipulated the result of the race? Um, they're trying to get that. Um, Felipe Massa is trying to get that turned round. Now, if, I know it's not going to happen for two reasons. One, A, it wasn't Lewis's fault. So Lewis shouldn't lose the 2008 championship because of that. And B, if they did, they'd have Abu Dhabi 2021 to deal with as well. Because if they could turn back on a championship from 15 plus years ago, why couldn't they turn back on 2021? And it would be a nightmare 
a PR disaster. So, this Felipe Massa incident and consequently Abu Dhabi incident. Not ideal. Put link in the game chat. I'll have a look uh, in a bit then after this one. Yeah, I've already seen that. I'm looking forward to watching it. I'm hoping that I can watch it day one. Um, but all depends where it's been shown or not. Because technically it's not a triple A movie, so... I'm so excited for tomorrow because the capture card arrives. So excited. Now the lyrics. I can finally get rid of that Wi-Fi card that's in my PC. I don't even have Wi-Fi. Well, I've got like internet. I don't use Wi-Fi. I got it wired. Wired because it's better. Oh, baby, I'm a fool for you.
drink and drive one handy. Don't drink him. Don't drink and drive, kids. That is dangerous. <laughs> Super massive black hole. It's so weird being on what is the main straight of Silverstone now. And all of it not existing there. Nowhere. Just about, Heinz. Uh, I got three more races after this one, and then I'll be ending the stream there. What, this Mercedes? That's pretty cool. I love this. This is one of the best Mercedes that Mercedes has ever made. Suggestion. Fuck off with the suggestions. Stupid YouTube studio. Is it V12 as well? If it's V12, it sounds like a V8. And a really good V8. So... another suggestion to turn the bitrate down YouTube you're not getting me turning the bitrate down I know you might not want me to have the bandwidth that I want but I'm sticking with it Circles. ding dong 
dong, ding dong. Ouch. Oh, nice. We got first place, guys! Woo! Alright, I'll take it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Uh -huh.